Who's next? Okay, this is a different problem. Um, we have Debbie and Fred on line 11, and I'm going to let them tell you about this. Debbie and Fred. Um, hi. You're Debbie. Yes. I'm so intuitive. Fred is on a different line? No, what happened, um, I, I spoke before I shouldn't have. He didn't want to get on the phone. He didn't? No. What's the matter? Um, with him. Is what it, the is problem it, is? Is it there already? Excuse me? Does there have to be something wrong with him? What's the, name the problem without naming him. Okay. The problem is, uh, really, uh, difference of opinion. Yes. It's causing me a lot of anxiety. What is, what is, what do you want? Um, well, we, we are going back east for 10 days, and we have a poodle, <clears throat> and I feel that we should take the poodle with us. Why? Well, because he's never been left alone before. We've never gone away and left him before. Uh-huh. And he feels that it would be too, too tra more traumatic to take him on the plane than it would be to leave him at home. How old is the poodle? Five years old. And I think that the problem is that it's more my husband worrying about the dog than it is the poodle having a problem medicated in a cage. Your husband, you think, is too worried about the dog? Well, when we flew, when we flew out west, he had the stewardess check and make sure that, that the dog got transferred to the right plane, and the captain came up and, and told him that he went down and checked on him himself. Well, he, he overworked. Wait, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Your husband has a real concern about his dog. But I do, too. Yeah. The dog is much more in danger on the plane than he is at home. I mean, you're medicating an animal. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you're putting them in a, in a uh, enclosed place, and if the, and that's more traumatic to the animal than being left home alone. Do you know what the animal does after you're out of the house? No. He doesn't think about you. He's in the moment. Someone could. I I, I know this is going to sound terrible, and you won't believe it, Debbie, and Fred won't believe it. But you know, I could pick up your dog. And and take it to my house feed it a couple of meals, and in two or three days, that dog wouldn't think of you. True, if you came back, he'd remember you, but only Lassie, who travels 1,500 miles across the, the Scottish land to find the master, remembers the master like that. Dogs, they go another place. Okay, you're nice to me now. You don't believe it. Not my dog. Not your dog. Well, no. <laughs> no, of course not, because your dog is a humanoid poodle. He is. He, absolutely. Your no, I've been told that. I know. <laughs> I have humanoid cocker spaniels, but guess what? What? Someone could get one of my dogs, be really nice to them, and guess what? That dog would never miss me. I hate to say it. My wife is home looking at this and saying, How could you say that? But it's true. Excuse me. I'm sorry? Excuse me for a minute. You don't believe me. No, I'm trying to tell you something. Go ahead. My dog... My my dog... Why am I starting this with <laughs> I don't believe I'm starting this with someone. My dog... For one thing, my my dog doesn't eat dog food. Well, he of eats course table not. table food. Um, of course, but that doesn't mean anything. And he doesn't eat unless I'm with him. But, but in two days, that dog would get hungry, and that dog would eat out of a can. He would? He would... What am I talking to you? I mean, you don't believe this. You think this dog is a human. Is it okay for the dog to be left alone? Alone? Every, every other night? Overnight? Why don't you stick the, the dog in a boarding kennel? There are some very good ones in town. Oh, we, we would never do that. You, why not? I, I just don't... I think that, 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 that I couldn't do that. Why? We, we don't think... Do you have kids? They wouldn't... Well... Do you have kids? Do you have kids? Excuse me? Children. Do you have children? Um, Who I don't have, have fur all over them. I have daughters. Okay. Where are they? Back east. Okay. So they're not at home? No. So not this, right now, no. So this is the baby? Well, yes, he has been. Okay. Yes. 
But but my daughters were here until four months ago. You have he was a, still the baby. You have a distorted view of this animal. I do. It is a lovely, charming, intelligent, feeling, compassionate, wonderful <coughs> dog. Mm hmm It is a dog. Okay. All right? Mm-hmm. He eats at the table. He probably sleeps in your bed. He probably curls up in your underwear when you throw it on the floor. <laughs> right? He does. All of those. All of those <laughs> things. Lady, you're nuts. <laughs> But all dog owners are like this. Look, it's traumatic to stick the animal on a plane. Unnecessarily. Okay. All right? It's just unnecessary. The dog is not going to miss you. I know that breaks your heart. The dog is not going to sit up there. If you put pictures of the dog in the doghouse, of course, your dog would never have the doghouse. But if you, ha if you had a doghouse with illuminated pictures of you and your husband, your dog wouldn't <laughs> even notice them. He would not notice them. Because they don't see like that. Like dogs look at television. They just look at the lit screen. They don't see a picture. Do they know time? Do they know time? No. If I'm gone 10 days, he won't know that it's 10 days? Well, it's longer than 10 minutes. Well, I mean, but it's, w when we go out, my husband says, see you in a week, Jamie. And we're going out for an hour or two. He said the dog doesn't know time. Well, the dog doesn't know the difference between 10 minutes and a week when you use the words, unless you've trained him. Okay. Do you have a dear friend that you love? Many. Do they love the dog? They all love him. Would they take the dog and be very nice to the dog? They're all back east. You have no friends who have the same esteemed uh, opinion of that animal out here as back east? No. Why not? Because we haven't been here long enough. Yet. Well, there's one person that's going to come to the house feed the dog. Where, the dog. Where are you going back east? Boston. Where in Boston? Beverly. Beverly? Mm -hmm. Near Salem? Mm -hmm. Beverly. Mm -hmm. where, where in Beverly? Oh my goodness. I have family in Beverly. Oh you do? Yes I do. My father's family's from Beverly. Oh and no They're kidding. all nuts too. Oh wow. Okay? Yeah. All right. So uh, where are you going to point a pine? No. Where? around uh montserrat area i know that place do you yeah you want to show the dog off you want the dog to be back east you think he misses the east coast right you feed him scraps of lobster you he do. doesn't like fish <laughs> oh you've tried <laughs> <laughs> no to tell you the truth it's uh, not that i really want to show him off because he's going to be trouble there being in an apartment where he's used to being in a home. Oh. I'm just concerned about leaving him and maybe him getting sick and dying. Why don't you find someone you can trust and leave the dog here and you, it will be good for both of you. You're too attached. I was in Europe, I missed my three spaniels something terribly. And you know, I didn't think of them all the time except in, in Paris at the, uh, uh, there's a place where they sell dogs. We check out all the dogs. None of them, of course, were as cute or as intelligent or as special as my dogs, <laughs> but we all feel that way. Okay. Enjoy Beverly. Thank you. Go I will. To, go off to Rosalind's restaurant in Marblehead. It's a good place. I know. <laughs> Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye, dear. Bye. This show is going to the dogs. Here's a commercial. <laughs>